Because of their nature, jet streams will create turbulence and abrupt changes of wind direction and velocity. Associated to the jet stream, there may be clear air turbulence, which is moderate to severe turbulence, located above flight level 150, without the presence of convective clouds. Beware that turbulence is more intense on the polar side and slightly above the core of a jet stream. In this case, for aircraft A, which is already in cruise, the turbulence may be higher when crossing the core of the jet. For aircraft B, clear air turbulence could be encountered between flight level 250 and flight level 380. Clear air turbulence is the primary cause of injury to aircraft passengers and flight attendants. In extreme case, the aircraft can suffer structural damage and temporary loss of control in flight. Reading of instruments or changing flight parameters can be challenging. In order to anticipate clear air turbulence, we recommend before the flight studying carefully your weather briefing. Weather charts give forecast of the location and level of clear air turbulence. During flight, Update weather information if possible. In area of forecast of clear air turbulence, air traffic control may provide real-time updates. You can find symbols of severe turbulence with associated levels in the significant weather chart. You can find details of severe turbulence in the SIGMET message. Satellite images can provide a complementary information on the position of jet streams when combined with the weather charts. Continued monitoring of the aircraft parameters and correct application of procedure is required to efficiently manage this situation. If you expect to encounter clear air turbulence, ensure the cruising level gives you sufficient merging and review your turbulence speed. Due to the inertia of the aircraft and the sudden change in wind speed and direction, there may be a short-term increase or decrease of indicated airspeed, which can reduce your flight envelope margins. The aircraft speed may temporarily exceed MMO or decrease below green dots. You may be able to ask ATC for another flight level or routing. Beware that clear air turbulence can be encountered anywhere from 7,000 feet below to above 3,000 feet above the tropopause. However, a descent or climb of 2,000 feet is often enough to exceed the turbulence. Remember to inform your cabin crew so that the service can be stopped and seat belt sign switched on. In order to warn other aircraft entering the area, you can notify ATC with a pilot report, communicating position, altitude, and severity of the turbulence.